next we're going to get into some of the passes here. And this is the PA rollout. And this is an excellent play. I'm going to run this from the left hash. Always practice your pass plays on different hashes because different routes will actually break and the defense drops in zones a bit differently depending on what hash they're on. So make sure that you know how each play works from each hash line. All right, so make sure that you're aware of that and you know that. So right here with this setup, I'm gonna block my running back to cancel the play action. You don't necessarily have to do that. If you wanna hit over the top with Y, you're probably better off running the play action. But for me personally, I don't like running play action because I want control of my quarterback right away. I'm just gonna put this guy right here, A, on a drag. And we're gonna run it just like this. All right, so A, we have wide open in the cover three. So right now we're gonna run this against the cover three and just see how all of these routes set up. So we got the drag here, and let's see if we can hit X on the break. Well, we can, but our quarterback just overthrew it like a monster because that's what they do in Madden. They don't throw the ball right. So let's run it again. There we go. So he's open against the cover three. And the reason why he's open is because we have that drag underneath as well as the other crossing pattern that pulls the defenders down. All right, so we know that that works. Uh, let's see. Let's try to hit this Y route right in that area that gets vacated. Nope, it's a really late read. You can do this. Most likely I'll block him. So the only hot route that we're going to make is, is a drag right there. Uh, what we can do with this wide receiver, if we want to get real, uh, real crazy with it here, maybe we can do something like that. We can motion him in and then snap, and he'll be open right underneath the coverage every single time. So next we're going to run the PA rollout against man coverage and we're going to keep all the routes exactly the same so Fleener whoops man so that's going to be the nice nice quick deep read for a big gain against man let's see what else we have here can we hit X X is going to be a really long developing pattern but we can hit him all right he will beat that guy nine times out of ten you have to read it though that X route is not open all the time you're going to have to read it Sometimes the defender breaks inside and you don't get it. So let's see if we can get the drag here. Yeah, the drag is screaming also. Man coverage basically stinks in this game. So unless you're taking guys and manning them up from the inside, playing just straight up man, you're most likely just going to get destroyed. All right, let's look at this play against a cover two defense. Now, we know that the middle linebacker in the middle of the field drops extra deep when they run cover two. Our tight end just got killed did you see that oh my gosh oh that was crazy <laughs> all right let's run this again all right so hopefully our tight end doesn't die this time so our tight ends open over the middle he uh enters that area that that middle linebacker vacates and he's open for a nice game we also have a that gets open Across the set for a nice short game, particularly if someone is blitzing, but against the cover two, it is also open. And let's see if we can hit the X receiver. Oh yeah, absolutely. So X gets open. X gets open against cover three, cover two, and man. So this play is a winner. It's a winner. Another thing that we can do is create a little homemade screen action with a flat on the tight end or a running back on a flat. You can do something like that too. Get creative with it. Understand what the defense is trying to run and exploit it. If they only have one guy in the flat like that, put that tight end in a flat route, put the running back on a flat, and just throw it to him out in space. So the next play that we're going to take a look at is the Z spot. And with Hilton, we're actually going to put him on a slant. And this play is really good because the running back sits in a spot against every zone in the game where you can hit him for a couple of yards right on his break. Boom. All right, so he's always open. Now, if that guy happened to make that tackle, it still would be about two yards. I run that often in situations where I need a first down. So I'll just run that and just throw it to him just like that. And it's always open against zone. So I know that I have that there. So with him on a slant, we're able to attack the middle of the field as well as the outside with the corner ball and with the deep end on the left. So this play hits multiple spots on the field and that's why I think it's so good. 
this in route, or I'm sorry, out route also gets open against cover three, which is weird. I, I made a video commenting about this, but those flat patterns just vacate on defense. They just vacate to the sideline. So as soon as he breaks, I can just throw that inside and bullet pass it to the right. So I'm bullet passing that right against that guy. And it gets open every single time. And I'm doing this live. This isn't like I'm like uh, faking this. So he gets open every time. Even when he gets bumped off the line of scrimmage, which isn't even really a bump. You can't bump tight ends in this game unless it's with a cornerback and like dime. But you can't even really bump when they're just running into each other and it's like the physics. So right there you can see again, uh, it does get open. Now, over top of that guy, we have the in route. And the in route against cover three will also get open. As we throw it right there on the break. But my receiver tried to one-hand it. He thinks he's Superman out there. But he's not. He's Reggie Wayne. So we're going to run it again. Boom. And you can see right there, he tried to one-hand it again. But he does get open. The in route is deep enough to where it forces the DB to bail, turn his hips, and run. So that's why it's open. And we're going to run it one more time just to show you. Boom. There we go. I think I was starting a little bit too early. But there you go. That's against a cover three. Now, the last thing that I want to cover against a cover three defense is the corner ball. And you can run this from the pocket, this play, and you would set it up just like this. If you want to, you know, roll out, I would put Y on a drag or some type of slant or something like that or an in, so you have some type of backside option, and then you just roll out with it. Then you're able to hit the corner ball there. You can hit the corner ball from the pocket, but it's a lot easier to hit the corner balls when you roll out, so that's a way to do it. Let's take a look at this play against man coverage, and all of these routes will basically get open, except for the running back route. The running back will not get open. The linebacker will almost always play him and be in good position to make a tackle. So let's run it again against man press. And the corner ball, screaming open. That guy gets absolutely lost inside in the middle. And the in route also gets open. Takes a little bit, a little bit of time because he does get bumped, but he does get open every time. So, there's a lot of options on this play. It's a great play. Against cover two, zone, there are also a lot of options. We have the in route. You gotta throw that up and to the outside. So you make sure that that inside yellow defender does not make a play on that. And we have the middle of the field, which will also get open as our middle linebacker or their middle linebacker drops back extra deep in a cover two. And the corner ball is open over the corner and underneath of that deep safety. And I'll illustrate that right now. Oh, forgot to take the auto motion off. But as you see, that's open as well. So there's a lot of options. The out route against cover two, weirdly enough, is also open. So look at the tight end out route. And that gets open underneath the, the flat defender. I don't even understand. Like, what are the flats there for? I have no idea. But it does. It gets open. So there's a lot of options with this play. So my analysis on the single back A, single back big, I think it's an okay formation. I don't think it's amazing by any means. I think that there are other formations that may better suit you and be more effective. But if you're, you know, dead set on running the single back ace, this would be the way to run it the most effective there's also i know that you run a custom playbook so there's also a few different plays that you might want to look into i know there's a screen where the tight end on the opposite side does like a uh, an old school slant out where the tight end goes across and blocks for the screen on the right and that works really well uh with a that's not it with one of those routes smoke route so if you run a smoke route with the extra blocker, that's, that seems to work out really well. Uh, there's a couple other plays. I can't think of any names offhand, but if you're going to run a specific book, the Cleveland book, I feel like is the best to run this particular set. So that's how you would run it. Thanks for checking in. It's Big J Glee signing out. Don't forget to click that subscribe button and continue to game strong.
Thanks for checking out the video. If you like this format, leave a comment down below. Give me some feedback. Even if you didn't like it, I want to know. Be sure to click that subscribe button to stay up to date on all the latest content. Also, be sure to check out all of my Mortal Kombat X content as we're going to be playing that quite a bit over the next few months. So thanks for checking in. It's Big J Glee signing out and continue to game strong.